Hi, my name is Brandon Enright, and today I'm going to try to figure out what the melting temperature is for Shapeways White Strong and Flexible. Um, we know that the White Strong and Flexible material is made out of a nylon powder that Shapeways centers with a laser and a 3D printer. And unfortunately, we don't know what type of nylon it is. Nylon comes in a lot of different varieties um, based on the specific molecular chain. Um, I think nylon 6 is probably the most common one, but the 3D printer needs to be able to melt the nylon, and my guess is that they probably use a nylon that has a slightly lower melting temperature than um, typical nylon. And so you see ranges published online that range from like, oh, like 200 degrees Celsius to around like 350 degrees Celsius, which is a pretty huge range. So I'm going to try to figure out what the melting temperature is for it because um, later I'm going to try to figure out how to dye this stuff and temperature may matter. Uh, so I'm going to try to figure it out. And the way I'm going to try to figure it out is obviously I have my camera set up on the stove here and I have some sample white, strong, and flexible. This one um, is also white, strong, and flexible but it's been um, polished by me in coarse grit in a rock tumbler. It, 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 this was a flawed piece, so I threw it in there anyways. I had to cut the top off to get the powder out. Um, I don't think it'll sink otherwise. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use mineral oil. So I'm going to use baby oil, which is mineral oil, which has an incredibly high boiling point. And it's a pretty safe material to get pretty hot. And I'm going to use that, and I'm going to heat it in my stove, and I'm going to monitor the temperature with this thermometer. And I'm going to try to determine at what temperature the nylon starts to melt. And I have also attached a <clears throat> piece of 3D printed white, strong, and flexible nylon to a 500 gram weight and a little bit of picture wire here. And I'm going to see at what point does it get so soft that it no longer holds together properly. So at what point can I no longer lift this weight? It's going to be a little bit hard to do, um, but I'm going to give it a try. <clears throat> I'm also going to have a couple additional pieces just floating. In. So let me get the baby oil in here. Oh, I probably should have checked. Uh, I gotta find a way to get this cap off. <clears throat> It's going to be hard to keep this uh piece submerged. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, but I'll give it a try. All right. Temperature is at 27 Celsius right now, and obviously nothing is melting. Okay. I'm going to set my burner on high. I don't know how long it's going to take to heat. That is a lot of mineral oil. Unfortunately, the pieces are in the bottom. Pretty much no change, no surprise. Well, I'm going to turn off my camera and wait for this to get hotter, and then I'll turn it back on. All right, um, I just hit 100 C. Now I'm at 104 C. So it didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, I am going to. Obviously this is boiling water temperature. 
no surprise there. I think that that is moisture coming out of that part. It's not getting softer. Sixteen. And I'm pretty sure the popping sound is just moisture. Hundred and twenty eight C. I think this nylon might actually start to be softening. It seems like it's sticking to the bottom. does seem to be a softening. Got about 140 to 150. Still lift the weight all the way out of the fluid. I'm going to turn the uh, temperature down on my stove so I don't heat the bottom too much faster than I heat the rest of it. One fifty two. <clears throat> Yeah, it is starting to melt. 
157. It is not melting completely through like I thought it would. It's just getting slightly sticky, it seems. I don't want to lift that weight all the way out of the oil just in case it falls, I don't want to splash. Ah uh, yes, now the pieces are starting to deform when I press on them. I don't know if, you, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but if I press on this piece, it, the wall starts to deform. That's happening at 170. And they're starting to stick together. One seventy one. Or what is the temperature of that part right there? One sixty nine. Okay, it's, it's to be expected. Okay, now they're uh, now they're really melting. If you're doing this to parts that needed to maintain structural integrity, they would probably be ruining themselves at about 170 to 175 or so. I think there's absolutely no moisture left in this part. That's why the popping has stopped. Oh, they melt much less spectacularly than I was expecting. I was expecting total failure them to just turn into little blobs, but they're still they're just soft right now. Sticking together soft though, fortunately. So I think the answer is that they start to melt significantly, starting around 180. Yeah, this part can't keep its shape at all now. This part can't either. And... Well, can't even get them off the screwdriver. touch it either unfortunately. Well I'm gonna have to turn off the temperature. This happened at 185 to 190 or so.
193. Temperature's evening out, I guess. Okay, well, yep, they're pretty much blobs now. Blobs you can't touch. Okay, well, I can't uh, can't get that off my screwdriver. I'm going to let this sit and cool. Um, it's going to take a very long time to cool. And then I'll re-review the video to see what temperature things started to melt slightly versus fully, and then I'll, I'll make notes. Thanks for watching.